today I am 28 weeks pregnant. I feel like I say like the same intro every time I start this. I'm just super, super excited. I, we're getting so close. We're like counting down the weeks. In my mind, I'm thinking I have nine weeks until I am 37 weeks full term. I have 11 weeks until I deliver if I do end up having to be induced. So we're looking at 11 weeks away. We are in the final like countdown basically. So that's really exciting. This week the baby is the size of a cabbage, which my app says a small cabbage and the baby's this 17 inches, which obviously is a little bit huge, but I don't know what small cabbage is 17 inches. I don't know what large cabbage is 17 inches, but alrighty what to expect. Karma just got done chewing on the cabbage, so you can totally tell where he like chewed a whole <laughs> For some symptoms this week, I definitely have felt the third tri trimester officially kick in to this pregnancy. I am just feeling pregnant, so, so pregnant. I'm exhausted, which um, a, a couple people did warn me that that could be a sign that I have low iron. So I'm definitely gonna be looking into that. I'm having a glucose test uh, next week. I'm hoping that they'll be able to tell from that because actually I was watching earlier Sarah Louise's her vlog and she was mentioning that that she found out from her glucose test that they they had low iron. I wake up exhausted. I'm exhausted after like I'm like ready for a nap. It's just really bad right now. A couple new interesting symptoms that have started is I now have tailbone pain, like real pain that just feels like my tailbone's like sore or like I was like what did I do did I sit on something or I don't know it was really weird I was feeling him like move into this really uncomfortable position and then I was feeling that tailbone pressure like basically he was putting a lot of pressure on my tailbone so that's a kind of a new and interesting uh, symptom that I've never felt before another interesting I wouldn't say it's obviously a symptom but he is just getting so strong he literally will go into the most ridiculous positions um, I actually Instagrammed a picture I don't know if it was this week or a few weeks ago of him just completely deforming my belly into this horrible position and it was so painful and so uncomfortable and he does that like a couple times every single day um, and he especially does it at night when I have a full bladder it's so uncomfortable but he is definitely just getting so so strong and finding new ways to deform my belly <laughs> basically but it's really it's really fun I love feeling him kick he kicks all the time just literally constantly I feel him rolling around I now imagine him basically just in there um, I guess you could describe it as climbing the walls I swear he just is just feeling every single part of my uterus like what is this what's going on here he's just getting like ridiculously active and painful and it's crazy. So sometimes I like to mention some new little body changes that have occurred and I haven't had a lot of different changes this week but um, my belly button is just looking so strange. Not only is it definitely uh, popping out and stuff, it inside my belly button is very sore and red and I don't know if I am possibly picking at it. I don't think I am but it just looks like a scab possibly being torn. Um, it's just really weird and so it's not really fun. It definitely is sort of painful like a, basically a sore or something um, but it's also just really uh, uncomfortable and stuff. So I had a doctor's appointment today and yesterday. Um, yesterday was with my actual doctor and I chose this appointment to really go into some detail about my birth plan and some things that I want to be doing. Um, so we really talked for a really long time just because I wanted to um, kind of get him on the same page as me, kind of get him to understand what my wishes are. I have been explaining that, explaining this for a while, but I thought I would give him a little more insight into what I'm planning to do for my birth plan and stuff. We talked about a lot of things, so I'll kind of give you a couple things that we talked about, but um, I let him know that I would like to wear my own gown. Uh, my own hospital gown that I want to purchase and so he said that was fine which I was super excited about and then I actually talked to him about delayed cord clamping because we definitely want to do that um, but after speaking to him I definitely want to know what you guys think of this he basically described what he would do for delayed cord, cord clamping he says well I always delay cord clamp 
cord clamping. But what happens is, is that he will not put the baby skin to skin on my chest until the cord does stop uh, pulsating um, so that he can clamp it because he actually believes or um, says that if you give me the baby bef while it's still pulsating, that the baby will actually, um, like a lot of the blood will start rushing to the placenta. So he will hold the baby, wait for the cord to stop pulsating, then he'll cut it, then he'll give it give the baby to me. I feel like I'm having to choose between instant skin to skin and whether I'm gonna be doing delayed cord clamping. And it seemed like, that didn't seem very normal to me. So let me know what your guys' experience is on this. If you guys have felt like, yes, usually the doctor holds on to the baby for a few minutes until the cord, the cord stops pulsating. Or if you guys are like, no, I got skin to skin and they waited to do cord clamping. I'm not really sure. It sounded very strange to me. I was gonna do a little bit of research, but this was told to me yesterday. So I'm kind of like, well, <laughs> can't imagine him holding my baby for a couple minutes while I'm like sitting there like give me my baby <laughs> like I want my baby right now and let me know what your guys' experience is on that. I also asked him about placenta encapsulation and I gotta tell you this was the most hilarious conversation I've ever had um, with a doctor. <laughs> Basically I told him I said so I know this is kind of strange but I am planning on doing placenta encapsulation. So if you didn't know I am planning on doing that but he <laughs> So he looks at me and he says, or and I told him I would like to know uh, what the process is because obviously I'm gonna be taking my placenta with me. And he says to me, what does placenta encapsulation mean to you? And I said, what do you mean, mean to me? Like, like what is it, what are like the, what's the benefits of it? And he's like, no, like, what does it mean? <laughs> and basically, I figured out he had no idea what I was talking about. I told him, well, I plan to take the placenta with me and I'm gonna have someone come and um, actually dry out the placenta and encapsulate it so that I can consume it. And he's like, oh, so you're gonna actually like consume like a pill? And then like, I said, yeah. And he's like, oh, okay. Um, basically he had no idea, never heard it before. He literally never been asked the question before. He said, you're probably gonna wanna talk to your the hospital about that and whether or not you can take the placenta with you because he feels that it's a biohazard and that blah, blah, blah. He gave me the, the uh, uh, number to the hospital, but he told me, he's like, if there's any advice, he goes, if there's any advice I can give you, just don't let them know that you plan to cannibalize your placenta. <laughs> I just couldn't believe he used those words, like actually used the words cannibalize, which I mean, I guess it's true, but it was just such a weird thing to say. And he, he honestly believed that I was going to put it into, put my placenta into a time capsule and like bury it in my backyard or something, which isn't obviously what I'm planning on doing. I would think that you'd heard of this before, but it's just not a very common thing. It's not, it's not as common as I think it is, I guess. We talked about a lot lot of other things, um, just some different birth plan options, and he was really um, open and very, gave me a lot of good positive things to say, so I'm really looking forward to finishing that and getting that done, hopefully very, very soon. So like I said, this next week I'm going to be doing my glucose test, which I'm totally dreading. I am so, so bummed about this, but, and I've been dreading it since the moment I found out I was pregnant, because I'm just, I am the worst person to have to eat things or put things in my mouth and swallow them. Ugh, it just doesn't sound good. But I'm gonna do it, and so I'm gonna be, so I'm gonna be doing that next week, and I'm totally nervous about it. All right, so let's go ahead and do a belly shot. Okay, so here is my belly, my shirt down. <sighs> I don't know if you can tell, but even now he's just in like this weird position. He constantly has his butt and legs up here and head is always down here. That's basically his position. Um, I, I feel like if he had more room, he would probably go into a transverse position, but I don't think, I really don't think he can because my uterus is just kind of small. So it's a very uncomfortable position and sometimes he'll even get himself right into this area, which is not fun. Okay, so here is my belly, my shirt up. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but that belly button is just so sad. Just a sad belly button. Ow. 
All right, so if you guys haven't seen, I did just put out a new video. It's a circumcision video. So, um, yep, I actually made the video. I went for it and I did it. I'm gonna tell you, it was <laughs> the most nerve wracking video I've ever made. I was so, so nervous. It took me definitely a couple tries, um, but I felt like it was important to show both sides of circumcision so that someone can watch it and make an educated decision and really do the research for themselves so that they can decide what's important to them and their family and their son. So obviously there was so much that I wish I could have, that I could have talked about. There's so many different points to both sides, um, but I was able to just touch on a couple things and I understand that no matter what, this is a very, very controversial topic, a very hot topic, and it, there's gonna be a little bit of, little bit of controversy in that but I tried to do it as best as I could, so I hope you guys enjoy it. If you haven't, you can definitely check it out though. All right, so I think that's it for my 28 week bump date. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like this video if you did, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hey everyone, so today we are going to talk about circumcision. That's right, we are going there. I know this is a super controversial topic, but since I'm having a boy, I get asked this question all the time. It's probably one of my most common questions asked and you wouldn't think so because it's kind of what you would think of as kind of a private <laughs> thing. I think it's one of the most common 